Yeah. What's up, Kyle? How you doing? Uh, starting at the five, how'd that feel? So you starting at five? Yeah. Um, you starting at the five, yeah. I mean, it felt fine. Um, yeah, it felt fine. I mean, um, you know, the, the league doesn't have crazy bruisers, so sometimes uh, we could play small and, um, you know, it felt solid. So. What do you think changed there in the second half, especially in the third quarter? Was it just not knocking down shots for the whole team, I mean, or increased physicality from Orlando? I mean, uh, Orlando uh, increased their physicality, but, um, you know, a lot of it just boils down to our just um, inability to, um, you know, guard and switch in the fourth. Um, and credit to them, they made a lot of tough shots, whether it was Suggs hitting some big shots, timely shots, uh, Cole Anthony playing in the short row at the end of the uh, end of the game, um, making us play in rotation. So it's tough. From Johnny, have you noticed any sort of increase in confidence or anything like that? Because he looked a little bit more fluid today on both ends of the floor. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he hit the one three um, the other night, and that probably gave him a little bit of confidence. And he came in tonight, played with um, a little edge. Um, so yeah. What would you like to see from him going forward in terms of what aspects of his game he can progress at, just creating his own shot or getting downhill? Playing defense, playing defense at a high level. And uh, Justin Champagne, I'm not sure if you've been asked this already, but have you gotten to know him in his game at all, and what do you like to see from him, and how, how can he contribute to the team? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. You know, I, I know that he can really shoot it. Um, I know that he's a competitor. Um you know, um, you know, he we'll we'll probably see him on the court, you know, very soon. So, Kuz, I'm sorry to come in late, but um, I wonder if you saw any differences between the Jazz, the end of the Jazz game and tonight, or if it kind of played out the same way from your point of view. In terms um, of the offense, I mean, kind, down. kind of. Um, it's not even about the offense. It was just really about um, our inability just to guard the ball, um, switch out and you know play bodies on bodies um they did a great job of playing in rotations making us play in rotations um and they hit tough shots so the magic are a young team that has made a big leap on the defensive end what do you think uh has been what, what do you think has like led to that and how can you guys maybe apply that to yourselves what can you learn from it i should say um, uh, I mean, when you play defense, you have a chance to win games. Um, they weren't winning games for a couple of years, and they just started playing defense. They started winning games. So, um, how do you do that? You got to want to play defense and want to play team defense. So, um, that's what we have to learn, and that's what we have to get to if we want to, <clears throat> um, not be this type of ball club so what do you uh, think Bilal needs to do to kind of finish this season strong after the year that he's had so far I mean he got to be confident um, that's the biggest thing you know it doesn't matter if he shoots two for ten two for twelve it doesn't matter like we need him to be confident because he's the future and uh, he's got it in him and he's got a lot of talent in him um, but um, you know, I think in this league, you know, confidence is just about above everything. So um, that's just what he has to find within himself. And um, I have confidence in him. Thank you. Thank you.